It is absolutely crazy because I spoke about trimethylglycine years ago before it got popular. And so in today's video, what I wanna do is actually share with you the unique benefits of trimethylglycine, otherwise known as TMG. So trimethylglycine, also known as betaine, is a naturally occurring molecule synthesized from the oxidation of choline found in plants and animals. Now, it is structurally similar to amino acids and is involved in various metabolic processes in the body. It functions as a methyl donor in several biochemical reactions, such as donating a methyl group to homocysteine to form methionine in the methionine cycle. Now, if you're listening to this video and you have completed a blood test, do yourself a favor, have a look at your homocysteine levels on your blood test. If it is above um, 11 or 12, this is usually a warning, side, a warning sign that you need to take action. And so this is one of the reasons why I like to supplement with trimethylglycine. Now, just for reference, trimethylglycine will be linked in the video description down below if you do want to purchase a high quality trimethylglycine supplement. Now, bear in mind, this process is essential for the synthesis of proteins and DNA, as well as for maintaining proper liver function. Now, TMG further acts as an osmoprotectant that protects the cell against dehydration by acting as an osmolite that increases the water retention of cells. So how the heck does trimethylglycine actually increase muscle growth and support fat loss? Well, we'll get to that shortly, but we need to understand why people are even using trimethylglycine in the first place. Some people are using trimethylglycine for general athletic performance, metabolic health, liver health and detoxification, non-alcoholic fatty liver disease and steatohepatitis, muscle strength and size, cardiovascular health, coronary artery disease, high cholesterol, weight loss and body composition, anti-inflammatory properties and also digestive health. TMG has enough methyl groups to spare. Now, with three methyl groups, TMG is a generous methyl donor. That means it gives its methyl groups to other molecules like proteins or DNA in a process called methylation. Now, methylation, you've probably heard about on the Joe Rogan podcast or even from Gary Brecker, who's spoken about the importance of methylation. Methylation can change the properties of molecules and it's crucial for many functions of the cell. For example, DNA methylation regulates gene expression. Now, changes in DNA methylation patterns, not necessarily the amount of methylation, occur during aging and in diseases like cancer. Now, one point to emphasize, and this is something that I've recommended to a number of my clients, is how TMG stacks super, super well with nicotinamide mononucleotide or NMN. Now, methylation is very important in the metabolism of NMN and NAD. Now, NAD is vital for energy production and the activity of elemental proteins like sirtuins, longevity, and PARP, or DNA repair. However, NAD levels drop with age. Now, this can be reversed with NMN supplementation according to clinical trials. Now, in the liver, after NAD plus interacts with its partners like sirtuins, Part of it needs to be excreted into circulation. Now, this is where methylation comes in. For NAD plus to be secreted, it is transferred into NAM and NAM after methylation becomes MNAM or methyl NAM. Now, this is the form that is secreted into the bloodstream. Now, as I mentioned before, how it stacks really well with NMN in the liver after NAD plus does interact with its partners. Um, we can see this diagram here, NMN to NAD+, then into NAM, then methylation uh, pushes it into that methyl NAM that then gets pushed into circulation. So one point I really want to emphasize is how TMG actually lowers homocysteine. So it actually helps to convert homocysteine back into methionine, thereby keeping homocysteine levels low. You're probably wondering now, what are the dangers of having high homocysteine? Well, it's actually a risk factor for um, cardiovascular disease, also Alzheimer's disease and other really harmful conditions. Now, the major TMG benefits that really excites me is this particular study here that was titled Ergogenic Effects of Betaine Supplementation on Strength and Power Performance. Now, what they noted here is that compared to pre-supplementation, 
vertical jump power and isometric squat force increased in the betaine supplementation group. The next note here was that the effect of betaine supplementation on power performance and fatigue. Two weeks of betaine supplementation in active college males appear to improve muscle endurance of, of the squat exercise and increase the quality of repetitions performed. This next study here was titled Effects of Betaine Supplementation on Muscle Strength and Power, a Systematic Review. What they noted here was pretty remarkable. Specifically, in a study incorporating a high-intensity strength and power resistance exercise challenge, isometric um, force increased by 24.61% and power increased by 15.9% after supplementation with betaine. Therefore, it is possible that betaine works best in this type of training environment under stressful cellular conditions. Here we can see the effects of betaine supplementation on cardiovascular markers, a systematic review and meta-analysis. In conclusion, the present systematic review and meta-analysis supports the advantage of a lower dose of betaine supplementation, less than 4 grams, on homocysteine concentrations without the lipid augmenting effect observed with higher doses. So I want to really emphasize the wide dosage ranges. Now, three to six grams is the most commonly used dosage in research for reducing homocysteine levels. But 1.5 to three grams has been found to be just as effective as high dose in healthy people. 2.5 grams is the common research dose for improving resistance exercise performance. And 20 grams per day has been studied for liver fat and fibrosis. Now, whilst high doses are well tolerated but may cause diarrhea due to osmolite properties, and exceedingly high doses have the potential to increase total cholesterol and LDL cholesterol levels. Now, from a safety profile, human trials have shown that TMG is safe for up to 15 grams per day. However, doses more than 4 grams can daily can lead to fluctuations in cholesterol. So, Here's how TMG actually aids with workout performance. Now, TMG primarily acts as a methyl donor in converting homocysteine to methionine. This action in com combination with its osmolite property um, results in stimulation of lipolysis or fat breakdown and inhibition of lipogenesis or fat accumulation via gene expression of lipolytic lipogenic related proteins. It also helps with the stimulation of the most anabolic hormone in the body, IGF-1. It increases its release and insulin receptor signaling pathways. It's also been shown to stimulate growth hormone secretion. It increases creatine synthesis and it increases protein synthesis via intracellular hyperhydration. And these psychological effects are documented such as attenuating the sensations of fatigue. Betaine, also referred to as TMG, has also been shown to improve tolerance to heat stress. This review also indicates that TMG can prevent or attenuate liver injury as well as having a neuroprotective role, assisting with myocardial function and having anti-inflammatory properties. Some studies also indicate that betaine has positive effects on neuroprotection and oxidative stress, which assists with conditions such as Alzheimer's disease, Parkinson's and schizophrenia. So that pretty much wraps up today's video talking about TMG, trimethylglycine. Again, if you want to see the link in the video description down below to purchase a high quality trimethylglycine product, you will see that linked down below in the video description. Otherwise, guys, thanks so much for tuning in. I look forward to seeing you in the next video.